welcome back to Jelly Farms in Ecuador. It's Joe and Lisa. So uh, we wanted to give you a fire update today because um, we had a tough previous 24 hours. Yeah. Um, we had um, late in the afternoon fires break out kind of in that direction across the highway on some other mountains. And um, it really were out of control and uh, we had to start lugging hoses around and um, Santiago came over to help us. We had wetting down trees on the outside of our property, trying to keep it from getting this way. Fortunately, just as you know, I was getting really concerned, the wind changed direction and kind of blew it the other way. Um, about midnight, you saw the bomberos. It had yeah. crested the mountain right there just across the highway. The bomb barrels were up there putting it out. Yeah, I looked out the window and I could see, a, well, you know, if you had your tinfoil hat on, it would be obviously an alien because it was a very, very bright light. And it was very sporadic going all over the place. But I think it was a bomb barrel looking for hot spots. And, uh, and then I noticed it was climbing the mountain. So uh, it got all the way up to the top and a couple hours later came down. So. Yeah, there's a goat path, that, a cow path, I should say, that meanders, you know, switchbacks all the way up that mountain. It's a very steep mountain. So, yeah, that's the way you get up there. I mean, yeah. it's really tough. So, um, uh, you know, from the pictures you'll see, I mean, the sky was just orange from the fire. Yeah. And it went all the way down almost to Ishkaluma. Um, not quite, but it got quite a few of the mountains over here. And then we thought we were out of uh, danger the next morning. And um, another from one started this up. direction, <laughs> yeah. um, where our driveway is, where our driveway meets the highway, here came serious smoke. Yeah, we had to run into town real quick, and then we came back, and it was really bad. Yeah, and so um, we realized my friend had some cattle up there that were trapped. Mm -hmm. He got the cattle out. Bomberos were there, and so we came home and immediately started preps again. Um, getting out hoses, moving them to the other side of the property, yeah, and trying to get water where it needed to be, sprinklers going, and very, very concerning. The whole property was just inundated with smoke, hot ash was falling in a few places, and um, and finally, uh, the, they actually brought up a, a pumper truck, which I've never seen them do. Yeah, they brought up a pumper truck with a long hose, and they managed to get it out. It was probably about 10 minutes from crossing the highway. Had it done that, um, yeah, we would have had a real serious problem. Yeah, and I was talking to a friend, and we were, you know, she's been here a little bit longer than we have. And though we have a windy season, it's not this strong all the time through the whole windy season. Usually it's just a couple of weeks, and then you get wind, but it's not really strong wind. But this year it's really strong and very very dry when the wind blows that hard we don't tend to get a lot of rain and so we haven't had rain so everything is really dry there's a lot of uh, conspiracy theories already of course um, so we i looked up the history and throughout history when it's really hot and really dry um, they have a lot of fires and interesting enough I was really looking to see what the news had on fires around us, which was nothing, nothing. I know they're here. We know how far and widespread they are, nothing. The only thing I could find was in Quito, they had, what I say, 22 fires in 24 hours. But Quito is the only one reporting the fires. So when you look for history in fires, they are here. They happen often not usually to this degree since we have been here, but we haven't been here that long. Um, so it, it is really interesting how quickly they burn a whole mountain and yeah, then there's and nothing. The, I mean, they've already taken people's cattle, mm -hmm. you know, lots of beehives were burned up, all sorts of things. And um, they almost got my friend's cattle, but he managed to get them out of there just in time. And uh, so, yeah, it, it's an incredibly bad, and the smoke's not good for me at all. Not good for no. Lucy either. Well, and we had to, <laughs> yesterday, I de-ashed the home. And so it was really surprising how much comes into the house 
um, when it's all around you and into all your clothes and your bedding and everything. So, it's all in the whole house. Yeah. 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 Our, our blankets smell like smoke. Our towels smell like smoke. Yeah. Um, uh, the two chairs we're sitting in here, I came out this morning and uh, they were covered with black ash. Yeah. And uh, kind of interesting. Um, so, yeah, it was um, dangerously close um, by the grace of God and some great bomberos. Yeah. You know, the firefighters put it out. We've been donating money to their lunches every day. And um, hopefully um, we'll have to keep utilizing these guys um, if, we, if we just get some rain. It's looking like it today, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure. It's still too windy to rain. Very windy. Usually doesn't rain when it's this windy. Mm -mm. Normally in September, we'd have a couple of good showers, and we just haven't had those yet. We really haven't, and it's, it's really concerning that... Uh, you know, I know we're going into El Nino and, and things change, but um, at some point it's going to start raining and, you know, is what it is, but the, the ground really needs it. Yeah, and, and um, you know, again, we reemphasize that if you're thinking about moving here, make sure you have a fire plan in place. Mm. Uh, make sure you have some kind of um, uh, extra water supply. These um, municipal water supplies here, these Pipes are usually plastic pipes, you know, about so big, and they're not very far underground, if at all. So when it burns, those pipes melt, and then you're out of public water. Right. Um, that can very easily happen. Um, these plastic tanks we use here, they could burn up real quick, melt. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, having a good plan in place is important. And lots of friends. Lots of great friends. Had, you know, Rob and, and Santiago came up again yesterday. And, uh, you know, Janice, thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of our friends are older like us, and they just can't climb mountains and fight fires all day. Uh, of course, we have a few young friends. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, it's tough. But it's good to have a good circle of friends around you, a good prayer circle around you. Mm -hmm. And don't stop praying for us. That's right. Because it's not over. No. Medicine's not one size fits all, and fires are not one and done. Yeah. We've had fires all the way to the Catamayo Airport, is what I'm being told. Um, in the last two days, I, probably seven or eight mountains, is what I'm counting, yeah. have been just scorched to nothing left. Well, and even, I was looking where they had the first fires that we noticed back this way. Um, it looks like yet further mountains are um, on fire, because you can see the smoke going More. up. Towards Loja, yeah, to the north. Yeah. Yeah, so from where we're sitting, north is that way, <laughs> south is that way, and that would make that west, and right behind us would be east. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the sun usually sets almost directly over the camera lens. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so the fire was from the west the other night, and then more from the southwest um, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a challenge for a few minutes. Um, finally, you know, Everything changed, and we were able to rest easy again. Yeah, thankfully the bomberos came and, and put that one out because it was literally right across the road. Really appreciate our bomberos. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for all your hard work and all the volunteers. Thank you all for uh, battling the fires here. We greatly appreciate it. Um, that's about all we have for now. Um, we've thrown up some pics of it, so you kind of see what the damage is like. And um, we're not going to stop um, being on alert until the rain showers start here. Yeah. And um, so keep praying. Yeah. And once the rain comes, pray we don't have any landslides. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ciao for now.